Imagine an era where people love to dance, happy dancers, where on any given night, ballrooms were filled with live music and thousands of people dressed to impress. In 1923, the Ritz Ballroom in Bridgeport, Connecticut was born. Founders Joseph Barry and George McCormick created a piece of history. This book goes on to describe the Ritz as large and cozy, attractive and charming, magical. The same exact words I would use to describe this home. It's no wonder why previous owner Joseph Berry, also owner of the Ritz Ballroom, loved to host parties here with names of amazing talent. This home is 3,400 square feet, drenched in sunlight and large spacious rooms filled with charm. Inside you're greeted with a two-story foyer, which is detailed with a leaded glass window and opens up to the formal living room, which is gracious in every way. Featuring hardwood floors, a wall of windows, it's a perfect place to cozy up with a book or a nice cup of coffee. The kitchen truly is the heart of the home and it's designed to impress. Tons of cabinetry, a huge nine foot island with seating and storage. Imagine cozying up by their fireplace with a cup of tea and book in hand. This room is truly one of a kind. Finishing the first floor, you have your cozy den with the second access point out to the terrace. Your first floor ensuite bedroom, great for those who are looking for an au pair suite or an in-law setup. You have a home office. Upstairs is a sweet surprise. You have the master suite, which has vaulted ceilings, an oversized bathroom, walk-in closet, and a private patio deck. Finishing the second floor are three additional bedrooms, all with vaulted ceilings, greatly sized, and share a full bathroom. Outside, this property is always in bloom, spring through fall. You have magnolias, daffodils, tulips, cherry and weeping cherry trees. The owners created a series of outdoor rooms, if you will. You have an area for reading and relaxing, a spot for dinners al fresco, another for morning coffee or evening cocktails. The beauty of this home is that you're located in the bucolic section of Fairfield known as Greenfield Hill. So it's your own slice of heaven of sweet serenity, but you have the convenience of town at your fingertips. You're three miles from the Tasty Oak food truck down on Brookside and Burr, and it's a Fairfield favorite. Let's head there next and meet up with Sarah. What we love most about the Tasty Oak is if you can't make it to their storefront in Blackrock, they can come to you. Whether you attend one of our local universities, want to host a party of your own, or even live at our listing over on Burr Street, you can always grab something tasty from the Tasty Oak. Today we're going to meet with one of the co-owners, Mike Bertanza, at one of the food trucks. Let's check it out. Mike, thank you so much for meeting with me today. Thank you. So we absolutely love the concept of Tasty Oak. You started in 2016 as a single food truck and you were looking to keep your normal nine to five jobs and do this on the weekend. Looks like everything changed for the better. Tell me about it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, started off uh, on Park Avenue as a, as a hobby. We were gonna do something that I thought we were gonna do just on weekends. And then um, the success came pretty quickly. Eric had the idea to open the truck six days a week and I was just like okay you know and we kind of bounced off each other's ideas and we try to support them and we, we made it happen. So Eric Flito is your business partner. Yes. Um, and he's actually known for being on Chopped, the breakfast battles. Two times. Twice. Yeah. Wow, how'd he do? He did really good the first time he won and uh, the second time uh, you know he was just there. Okay, <laughs> so that's a pretty good compliment, I think, even for your company, just knowing that, you know, you or your business partner were on, you know, a national TV show um, and won. That's incredible. Yeah, definitely. And now you have four food trucks and a storefront. There's four food trucks and a storefront right in now. In four years. Yeah. In four years. That's yeah. incredible. Thanks. Very nice. Well, we absolutely love your food and we will definitely be back for more. Mike and Eric achieved their American dream by opening up the Tasty Yolk. And we would love to help you achieve your American dream. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>